ಹಲೋ ಲರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರವಿ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾವರ್ಧಕ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇನ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಎ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಲಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ upon completion of this session the student shall be able to identify the graphic symbols for various types of hydraulic components the student shall be able to explain various hydraulic circuits to control single acting and double acting cylinders the student shall be able to explain a regenerative circuit firstly we shall discuss what is a hydraulic circuit hydraulic circuit is a group of components such as pumps actuators control valves and conductors arranged so that they will perform useful task next we shall list what are the factors to be considered while designing and analyzing a hydraulic circuit number 1 factor is safety of operation number 2 performance of desired function number 3 efficiency of operation next we shall move on to control of single acting cylinder so here we shall discuss how a three way two position directional control valve is used to control a single acting cylinder so what is the meaning of single acting so single acting means control pressure is applied only onto the one side of the piston so that is known as single acting cylinder so in this case the extension of the cylinder takes place hydraulically but the retraction takes place with the help of the spring so here we shall list what are the components used to develop this type of circuit so we have a tank hydraulic tank here we have a filter we have a hydraulic pump so here closed filled arrow wherein the arrow is pointing away from the center that indicates hydraulic pump then a pressure relief valve <coughs> then we have three way two position directional control valve a single acting cylinder so the connections are shown for neutral position where the cylinder is in the retraction retracted mode so here in this position that is when the lever is not operated so in the spring offset mode a is connected to the tank line so p here it is blocked so all full pump flow will goes to the tank with the help of the pressure relief valve and the cylinder is in the retracted position now when the lever is operated so then the valve will move to the left envelope configuration so in the left envelope configuration so p is connected to a and t is blocked when p is connected to a so that oil enters into the blank end of the cylinder and cylinder extension takes place so when cylinder is fully extended when there is no further work to carry out so then the pump flow this pressure relief valve will open and excess flow is diverted to the tank now when you release the lever so the valve will shift to this right envelope configuration so in the right envelope configuration that is with the help of the spring offset mode spring so the cylinder will start retracting with the help of the spring and the oil present in the piston end or the blank end is relieved to the tank or is drained to the tank so during that operation so full pump flow because p is blocked full pump flow goes to the tank via pressure relief valve so this is how uh, you can develop a circuit for uh, like 
the how you can use a three way two position valve to control a single acting cylinder next we shall discuss about control of double acting cylinder so in this we shall discuss how four way three position directional control valve is used to control the double acting cylinder double acting cylinder meaning is control pressure is applied on either side of the piston that is on the blank end and also on the rod end of the cylinder extension and retraction takes place hydraulically so that's why here since the extension and retraction takes place hydraulically so here we call this as a double acting cylinder so in this we shall list what are the associated components used to develop a circuit for control of double acting cylinder so in this we have a tank a filter which removes the contaminants from the oil hydraulic pump a pressure relief valve which will take care of the pressure in the pipeline and excess pressure is relieved to the tank and a four way that is this p is connected to the pump line t is connected to the tank line a is connected to the blank end of the cylinder b is connected to the rod end of the cylinder so four way three position three squares are used so three position directional control valve this is manually actuated spring center type of directional control valve so in this the connections are shown with respect to the center path configuration so where the pump will flow to the tank and also this pressure relief valve will also monitor the pressure in the pipeline and excess pressure will go to the tank so now when you operate this lever which is attached to the spool the valve will shift to this envelope configuration that is left envelope configuration so in this case p is connected to a b is connected to the tank line when p is connected to a oil will enter into the blank end of the cylinder and cylinder extension will take place during extension of the cylinder oil present in the rod end is relieved to the or drained to the tank via directional control valve now when the cylinder is fully extended so then here a pressure develops in the pipeline so that the pressure relief valve opens and then excess pressure is released relieved to the tank now when you again release the lever so the valve will shift to the center path configuration and cylinder is hydraulically locked and next when you operate the valve valve will move to the right envelope configuration and then p is connected to b a is connected to t so when p is connected to b uh, pump flow that is the oil will flow into the rod side of the cylinder and cylinder retraction will take place when cylinder is retracting oil present in the piston end is released or drained to the tank via directional control valve when cylinder is fully retracted when there is no further work to carry out so then pressure relief valve will monitor the pressure in the pipeline and excess pressure is released to the tank now again when you release the lever so that the valve will move to the center path configuration and cylinder is hydraulically locked so this is how we can use four way three position directional control valve to control double acting cylinder next we shall move on to regenerative cylinder circuit so some application demands so wherein we need to increase the speed of the cylinder that is the extending speed of the cylinder so that is the if the extending speed is greater than that is the expanding speed is greater than the normal or the regular double acting cylinder so for intermittent motions we may require this type of arrangement so for that we can go with this regenerative circuit uh, cylinder circuit or regeneration type of circuit so in this case you can see here port p port b port b is blocked 
T is connected to the tank line, port P is blocked and A is connected to the piston end or blank end of the cylinder and here four way three position manually actuated spring centered directional control valve is used. So here we have the parallel connection again so the this one the directional control valve is bypassed so that the tank uh, the pump line is directly connected with the rod end of the cylinder. So in the center path configuration cylinder is like the uh, connections are shown with respect to the so we shall discuss cylinder extending speed so a partial circuit shows flow paths during cylinder extension stroke so the rod side oil is regenerated and along with the pump flow the rod side uh, the regenerated oil add on and then it will enter into the blank end of the cylinder and cylinder extension takes place so the regenerative circuit is used to increase the extending speed of the cylinder so the extending speed will be greater than the normal double acting cylinder so in this you can see the how to obtain the equation for the extending speed so here total flow rate entering the blank end of the cylinder equals the pump flow rate plus regenerative flow rate coming from the rod end of the cylinder so solving for the pump flow we have this so we know that total flow rate equals the piston area multiplied by the extending speed of the piston similarly the regenerative flow rate equals the difference of the piston and rod areas multiplied by the extending speed of the piston so solving for the extending speed of the piston we have extending speed equal to pump flow divided by area of the rod so thus a small rod area which produces a large regenerative flow provides a large extending speed in fact the extending speed can be greater than the retracting speed if the rod area is made small enough okay let's find the ratio of extending and retracting speeds to determine under what conditions the extending and retracting speeds are equal we know that retracting speed equals pump flow divided by difference between the piston and rod areas so the vp extension divided by vp retraction equal to so finally further simplification will we will lead to a suffix p that is area of the piston divided by area of the rod minus 1 so from this we see that when the piston area equals two times the rod area the extension and retraction speeds are equal in general the greater the ratio of piston area to rod area the greater the ratio of extending speed to retracting speed next we shall discuss the application that is the concept of regeneration which is used in the drilling machine so here this circuit shows an application using a four-way valve having a spring centered design with a closed tank port and 
ப்ரெஷர் போர்ட் ஓப்பன் டு போர்ட் ஏ அண்ட் போர்ட் பி ஸோ இன் திஸ் சென்ட்ரு பாத் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் த ஸ்பிண்டல் அட்வான்சஸ் ரேப்பிட்லி அண்ட் வென் த லிவர் இஸ் ஆப்ரேட்டட் ஸோ தென் த வேல் வில் ஷிஃப்ட் டு த லெஃப்ட் என்வலப் மோட் so the left envelope mode gives slow feed when the drill starts to cut into the work piece and after its useful work again the when you operate the valve so then when you operate the lever so the valve will shift to the right envelope mode and the cylinder will retract so like this we can use the concept of regeneration in the drilling machine application so why in the center path configuration the spindle advances rapidly means in the center path configuration along with the pump flow the oil from the rod side is regenerated and will enter into the piston or the blank end of the cylinder and spindle will advance rapidly so here the concept of regeneration is used that is we are increasing the extending speed of the cylinder that is the extending speed is greater than the regular double acting cylinder so that application the the concept of regeneration can be used in this drilling machine application so next to summarize we analyzed how a three way two position directional control valve is used to control a single acting cylinder we analyzed how a four way three position directional control valve is used to control a double acting cylinder we discussed about cylinder extending speed and ratio of extending and retracting speeds of a regenerative circuit we discussed the application of four way valve having a spring center design with a closed tank port and a pressure port open to ports a and b for drilling machine and this is the reference fluid power with applications by anthony esposito by pearson education thank you